Hello and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at the Arc tool. You'll find it here over underneath the Line Segment tool. You just got to do a long press, drop it down, Arc tool. We're going to use the Arc tool. I'm going to show you how to do a few things with it. And I know that when I was new to Illustrator, um, I would just start building, you know, arcs and stuff like that. But you can actually manipulate the shape of the arc and a bunch of other things. So let's just get right into this, guys. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I've selected the Arc tool and boom I'm just gonna draw an arc and this is what you'd probably see in default and perfect I've got a stroke of five points with no fill but I don't know to make this a little bit more obvious let's use 10 point stroke and then if I click on the old selection tool and click off of it that's what we got standard stuff there are a couple cool things though that I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna create one more arc and I'll just line her up and you know you could see how we could create like a kinda of cool little uh, you know some sort of hair effect or something cool like that with arc, but let's not let's not uh, worry about that Let's get into the cool stuff. So here we go. I'm going to delete that create a new arc this time when I hold it down I'm going to continue to left click on it and hold the left click down And now I'm going to start using the up and down arrow keys and watch what happens Do you see how the arc is changing as I do that? awesome, let's go back up so this is not obvious because it doesn't really say anything about that uh, unless you know where to look for this. So here you go, guys. This is one way to go ahead and manipulate the arc tool and get your own cool little shapes just like that, just by holding down the up and down keys. That's number one. The second cool thing that you can do with the arc tool, I'll do one more arc and I'll go this way with it, is you can press the F button. And F basically stands for flip. So here we go. I've got it going this way. F flipped over just like that so if you use these tools the up and down keys plus the F button guys you can make some very cool effects let's go ahead oh yeah cool what's up we got this cool looking arch here um, and you can create all sorts of cool things with the arc tool again this is not stuff that uh, is totally obvious because you can't really see it in the um, in the in the shortcuts anywhere there guys so up and down keys and the F key for flipping and you can make some cool new shapes thank you for watching this tutorial I got a lot more stuff coming up and we'll be back soon cheers bye bye